Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. Uh, this will help me to reach a wider audience. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stir fry a simple eggplant dish. Uh, I'm going to use an Asian eggplant. Uh, I'm going to stir fry it with uh, garlic. Now, this is a very simple dish. And uh, at the end, I'm going to uh, season it with uh, wine as well as uh, oyster sauce and hoisin sauce to create a teriyaki flavor eggplant dish. Uh, the total cook time of this dish is less than 5 minutes. Uh, this eggplant is of Asian variety and sometimes it is known as either Japanese or Chinese eggplant. A lot of people like this kind of eggplant because the skin of this eggplant is soft making it readily edible. Therefore, you don't need to peel the skin. With the pearl color, uh, you know the skin must have quite a bit of nutrients in it. Uh, I cut the eggplants into wedges about bite size. I find that it is important for me to prep the eggplant right away uh, after I bring it back from the supermarket. If you leave them in the plastic bag that they come in, uh, they tend to uh, deteriorate rapidly. I store them in plastic container like this one and they last uh, probably up to a week. A stir frying eggplant tends to be a little bit tricky, so in this video I'm going to show you what is the best way to stir fry eggplant. Uh, I start off with about 1 to 2 tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. Uh, I then add uh, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Uh, I use garlic that has been pre-minced to save time and then they seem to be working okay. And this is followed by adding 2 cups of eggplants, which is half of what I have. And I'm going to use the other half for a different meal. It is important for you to keep an eye on the garlic, because the garlic burns easily. So you want to add the eggplant very quickly after you added the garlic to the wok. And because garlic contains sugar, and uh, the sugar tends to caramelize in the wok. So as you can see, the bottom of the wok starts to turn brown. One characteristic of eggplant is that it absorbs oil readily. So to prevent it from getting burnt, uh, you need to add more oil as you cook. I try to add a little bit of oil at a time, uh, just enough to prevent the eggplant from the getting burned. Uh, I would strongly recommend that you put your cooking oil in a squeeze bottle so you can add precisely the amount that you want. Uh, this will help you to prevent using more oil than it is necessary. Uh, this turned out to be an important step. As the oil penetrates into the eggplant, it extracts flavor from the eggplant. Uh, I learned this trick from my cousin March. Uh, before I using this approach, my eggplant never tastes quite right. In fact, you can see the change in the eggplant. Uh, after you add oil, uh, you will notice that the flesh of the eggplant starts to turn translucent. Uh, for many people, is that this change in the texture of the eggplant is what makes eggplant so delicious. At this point, you know that the eggplant is almost cooked. Uh, I'm going to season the eggplant first with some the rice cooking wine. You can use uh, any wine that you prefer. Now, I'm actually using the rice cooking wine to, in part of my spot cleaning, uh, which is to dissolve the burned material that has stuck to the bottom of the wok. When I combined this fluid with the wok spatula, uh, I was able to effectively to dislodge this material. Uh, they actually contain wonderful flavor, so this is one way uh, to return the flavor back to the dish. Uh, you might also find it is effective uh, in cleaning the wok at the same time. Otherwise, uh, you might find cleaning the wok is going to be quite challenging. Uh, I'm going to create a light teriyaki sauce starting out with some oyster sauce. And then this is followed by some addition of uh, hoisin sauce. Uh, I have also uh, tried with other type of sauce. Sometimes I use a uh, hot sauce, uh, a tomato sauce, or a cream sauce. Uh, I, at this point, I decided that I'm going to add a bit water to create a light sauce. Uh, I use my spot cleaning approach again. I put the water directly over the area that have uh, the burned material and again this will return the flavor back to the dish as well as uh, cleaning the wok at the same time. I find that this is a great idea uh, to put my water in a squeeze bottle. 
uh, because it will allow me to have precise control of how much water that I want to put into the wok. And finally, uh, I'm garnish uh, the dish with uh, a slight uh, amount of a scallion. Again, this is completely optional. A scallion adds some flavor as well as the color to the dish. Uh, the dish is ready to serve, and the cook time is about 5 minutes. Uh, before I figure out how to cook eggplant using this approach, uh, I really do not like eggplants that much. Uh, this is also the same for my wife. And now we both love eggplant because of the texture that are created by this cooking approach. Uh, I prefer the Asian eggplant, but the uh, American Beauty eggplant works uh, equally well. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to cook this dish using the American Beauty eggplant. Uh, for your convenience, uh, I have provided a recipe to this dish uh, in the comment section below the video. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, this will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, see you tomorrow.